Now being able to read the water is a huge advantage as a fisherman. On the surface, and lakes and rivers, they all look pretty much the same. But it's subsurface where it all happens. There's banks of weed, troughs, gullies. These are all brilliant fish holding spots. And it's particularly important in summer, but imagine what it's like in winter when the fish are really shoaled up. If you could understand what was under the water, you could find those shoals of fish straight away. Now, thanks to some new technology, the eye bobber, we can now see underwater. You can find the features and you can find the fish. Let me explain how it works. So what exactly is an eye bobber? Well, it's a castable sonar device. So what's sonar all about? Well, it's the sort of stuff that the trawler men used to use years ago, and they still use it now, to check the seabed, to find out where the shoals of fish are so they can scoop them up and you can have cotton chips down the chippy. All that technology has now been refined into a tiny little device. Here it is, you can cast it out, you can read the lake bed, you can find where the fish are. It's amazing technology. Let me show you how you make it work on the bank. The first step to start seeing underwater and finding your fish is to get the thing powered up. Now it comes with a USB lead, you can plug it in as a normal plug or into your uh, laptop or computer, stick it in. Now this bobber goes into the port, attaches so like that and it, it does start to glow blue. You'll see it easier obviously if it was a darker room. Um, and you just let it charge and that charge will stay in the eye bobber for up to a month. So it's pretty long lasting. Now step two of this simple procedure of setting up is to download the app. It's a free app. Again, it's simple to do from the app store. You can use it on your mobile phone or indeed a tablet. Now it uses, the latest technology uses Bluetooth 4. Now that means there's less of a drain than previous models and also it's less intermittent so you get a more powerful connection. Once the iBobber is charged, you need to sync the two together. So you take it off charge, just knock it off like that. And then from the app, you start to fill in your details. So you'll put your email address in, your own uh, tagline, mine's ESOX1969, after Pike and the year of my birth, because I'm a Pike fanatic. Um, and then you'll be able to start to build your details on your phone that personalize the connection between the two. Now step four, well that's about getting down the lake or river and giving it a go. What you've got to do is attach this to your rod and reel. You need a fairly strong rod. I use a carp rod with a shock leader on it, but you can just use any powerfulish rod. It weighs about two ounces, so it doesn't want to be something that's going to break. You cast it out and you start to get the information on your phone or on your tablet. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is mapping the water. Now this is really important, like I said before. It's the underwater world, the contours, the gullies, the weed beds. This is where the fish sit. And it's a trick I've used many times with the eye bobber to catch me some big carp, as well as pike and tench. Now, all you've got to do, this thing switches on when it hits the water. Let's lay it down. And I'm going to go into the app, into the section marked mapping water. It's at the top of your screen you'll see a little arrow pointing to an underwater map. You click it on and it tells you to cast out. So let's flick it out. Now this will map to 100 feet out and over 100 feet of water, 130 foot I think as much as. So you cast it out then you refer to your app and it tells you to start mapping. Press OK and then you start to reel in slowly. Now don't go it too fast, nice and steady and slow. Two feet per second is the default setting, but you can change it to suit yourself. Wind in slowly, and all the time it's emitting sonar beams down to the bottom and back again and gathering all that information up. When you've got to the edge, you go back to your app, and it counts down to three seconds and it delivers the map of the lake bed or the river bed, wherever you're fishing. And you can start to understand the contours and then where the fish might be living. Now, another crucial part of the eye bobber is the finding the fish feature. Now, this lets you identify where shoals of fish or individual fish are. It will tell you what depth they're lying at, so you can choose 
uh, the kind of rig you need. So if you were carp fishing, you could use a zig rig up in the water or a bottom bait. Or if you were law fishing, you might use a crank bait lower down the water or maybe even a surface popper if they were high. So you can understand where they're sitting in the water column. Also, it will tell you the size of fish. So there's a, an orange um, tag on the fish that says they're sort of smaller, maybe under 15 inches, and a green coloured one that says they're bigger. It's a good indicator to give you sort of a, a pointer to what you're after. Another great advantage with eye bobber is it can be used at night when the fish are often are the most active. You can put, by using the status bar, you can put the light on inside. It's cast it out and you'll be able to see it. Also, on the device here in the status bar, you've got a fish alarm and that can activate when it goes over a fish. Okay, so we've seen how it works. The best thing now is to stay active. I mean, the fish aren't always gonna to come to you. You need to go to them sometimes. So I'm gonna wander around, find some spots, either some fish underwater or some nice contours where I think will be perfect to set a trap and put a bait. And I'm gonna sit back and see if it pays off. Well, I've had a good look around. I'm gonna make a few more casts. This looks a nice spot to push your way through here to the reeds and there's a bit of a tree there. If this had a nice shelf, I could find the drop off and then put a bait there. So I quite fancy this if it looks right underwater. Um, so let's cast out. And of course with these things, it hardly makes any splash. So you're not gonna scare anything that's there either. Let's have a look. Okay, we crept into position. We've got a lot of cover here. So we're gonna cast out, flick it out. Now, it's activated because the eye bob is in water. Let's go to the app. Now we're going to go on underwater mapping. And it's telling me to three, two, one yet. So now I can start retrieving. So I'm going to do two feet per second, something like that. I'm steady anyway, you don't have to be too precise. Now, there's been no disturbance. So whatever was down there isn't going to be scared off like you might do if you were using a marker float, that's it. We're in, let's press her again, two, one. And then I've got it, an underwater map of the contour here. It's about two feet and then it drops off down a slope and then steadies away. So it's the bottom of that slope I wanna be because that's where the fish are gonna be patrolling along, along that. So it's a, it's a nice drop off. So let's put a trap down there and leave it and see how we go. Let's keep quiet. So there you have it, eye bobber really works. I've used it to catch carp on lakes by positioning bottom baits near shelves. I've used it to catch really big pike in Ireland. I've just dangled this thing off the edge of a boat and been able to spot the underwater features and shoals of silverfish. It's a really great tool and it uses the latest technology so it doesn't drain your battery. But the best thing about it is the price, it's under a hundred pounds. You can't go wrong.